Peggy 12. Welcome to Wildstar. This is DevSpeak. Yeah, we got a disclaimer. So folks have been asking for it, and we've listened. Cue the music. Hmm, that's nice. So, I can admit it. I'm a bit of a fussy pants. I like to put my personal touch on everything. That's why, in Wildstar, we've tried to take every aspect of the game experience and make it customizable. We've built our core features around this idea. Because let's be real here for a sec. It's all about customization. Now, you all know me as professional, but I'm going to make me a brand new alt here. And her name is Kabuya. Mm, I want that one. No. That one. Hold up. Personal touch time. I think it's pretty clear Kabuya is a settler. Yep, definitely. So that's character creation. What about the actual game? Obviously, we've got housing. Oh, was that not obvious? Yeah, it's pretty robust. This guy needs a little more rainbow. But what I care about are my stats. That's why I can customize any item over level 15. This sword needs more inside. Boom. We've also got a crafting system and it's pretty deep. Do you like to warrior? Well, you better choose how you're gonna warrior. Your action set forces you to customize your combat style constantly. I think I'll pull up my threat mitigation long range taunt set for this one, except for this one ability. Then you've got your class stat customization. We call it amps. Maybe you'd like to get some support. Little utility, and one assault. Now, some people like to look different. I like my armor, but I want it to look like this, or a hazmat suit. Like riding around on your hoverboard? How about like this? Boop. That's right, mount customization. Who doesn't want a ramen bowl on their chewable? If that's not customization, then what is, man? Oh yeah, war plots. That thing where you build and customize an entire battle fortress? We'll talk about that later. So, we've got a website. It's got info. And let us know your fussy pants desires via social media. The devs are listening. <laughs>